So now I'm going to do some soloing. I'm going to do it very slowly and I'm going to explain my thought process. So when we start with the C chord, I'll be using that C major pentatonic. One, two, three, five, six. myself at the end of my phrase on this G note and I'm about to move to the F chord. So I want to pick a chord tone in F. I have two choices that are close by, the F or the A. Now the F is very obvious so I might go for the A instead. Again I'm going back to the C chord now and I want a close by chord tone. I'm going to pick the G. to the G7 chord. I can just stay on the G. Now I'm going to the C chord, I might stay on the G again. There's the G7 chord and I'm back to the top of the form. Repeating, but this time different. Don't be afraid to repeat, guys. You can see how I'm repeating ideas. So don't be afraid when you have a melody to repeat it. When you get to the new chord, adjust the melody so that it's almost the same, but includes notes out of the next chord. It's a very strong way to improvise.